Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. On November 21st of 2022, something disgusting was released upon the world. That thing was the Vice News hit piece on the manga industry, something that is the gold standard for unethical journalism, something that was also mocked and ridiculed by the internet because of the misinformation and terrible journalism that took place in that video. And after the fallout of that, I thought I would never see it again. However, that is not the case because Disclosed TV on their Twitter account with over 1 million followers shared this article that used the Vice News video as the foundation of its claims. In their article, much like the Vice News video, there is a great deal of misinformation about not only US law, but Japanese law as well, and claims of relating anime characters to CSEM. But on top of all of that, the article contains many different statements about Japanese people and culture that can be considered racist. They are essentially claiming in this article that Japan is some safe haven for CP and CP enjoyers, and now those people are going out and attacking and dominating social media platforms like Mastodon to spread their abhorrent content. Now, spoiler alert, you can probably already guess, but what they're talking about is not actual CP. It is, of course, fictional drawings. So it's a pretty long article, and to make this video concise, the first half is basically building up this big pedo invasion of 2017 that Mastodon experienced. And in case you didn't know already, Mastodon is a social media platform that is supposed to mirror Twitter. And what they claimed is, is out of thin air, hundreds of thousands of new users sprouted up, and of course, they were all pedophiles, and they were sharing unlimited amounts of images containing illegal materials such as CSEM. Well, they have an answer and an explanation for this event down here that says, the above map of is of known Mastodon instances back in August 2017. Take one glance at the map, and you will notice that most of the Mastodon user base lived on servers in Japan. In August 2017, three of the top five instances were hosted in Japan and they collectively represented 60% of Mastodon's user population. And another explanation they give is that Twitter is very popular in Japan because this was a knockoff. Many people migrated there, but later on they'll claim they migrated because Pixiv and other places started banning CP, which we all know it wasn't banning CP, it was banning the threat of banning certain content like Lollicon, and they've always had CP banned. No kidding, right? But you get the point of this, this section right here. They are pointing to Japan as the party responsible for the pedo invasion of 2017. Now look at this next section. Does it make you fall out of your chair from the title alone? The Japanese are really into CP. Yeah, th this is just racism, by the way. In case you were wondering, this is just straight up racism. So, painting an entire culture as consumers of CP. Yeah, that's a terrible look, okay? So, they begin with this red herring, and I, I say that because they correctly make a statement about CP being officially illegal in 2014. But what they're going on to say beyond this point is not about CP featuring real children. It's, of course, about fictional content, which, by the way, for clarity's sake, can also be considered CP and CSEM, as in harming children, in the very rare instance where a real-life child is used as a source to trace or inspire Lollicon or Shotokan artwork. Let's not forget about that, but that is very rare. And, of course, they're not talking about that. They're talking about these things generally, when no children are involved and no children are being hurt in the process. So they bring up the UN, of course, and we all know what U the UN was going for, and that was the push to ban fictional content and have them considered children under their new guidelines. It's something we've talked about ad nauseum on this channel. However, you keep going, and we get kind of a, a little bit of a hint as to where they're thinking. Although the law was passed in 2014, it wasn't until the mid-2016 that the authorities finally began to clamp down 
hard on the illegal kinds of CP, which is what drove many Japanese pedos to migrate to Mastodon in early 2017. Yes. That's their claim. Something happened during that year. They finally started clamping down, so all of the pedos in Japan went to Mastodon for some reason, of all places. And this line right here is amazing. They had to. Things were really bad, and Japan was a global leader in CP. I would love to see a source for probably one of the most inflammatory statements I have ever seen. Like, how do you get away with saying these things on the internet? So in case it wasn't painfully obvious what they were referring to this whole time, this next section really just shows the true colors. So it begins by saying, Japan didn't even make all CP illegal either. They only made photos and videos with real children in them illegal. Computer-generated imagery of children, no matter how sexual, is not illegal in the eyes of the law. Neither are animated cartoons, drawings, or physical sex dolls that resemble children. So now we know exactly what they're talking about. This whole thing was a giant red herring, thinking, making you think that this was about actual children being harmed, but no. This is about anime, manga, lolicon, shotokan. This is about fictional content that these people want to equate to CSEM and things that hurt real-life children. And of course, you can see what they cited for that statement. The Vice documentary. Beautiful. Well done. So, just like the Vice documentary, they go on to say, in the West, the possession of any kind of sexual imagery involving children is not just a strong cultural taboo, it is also illegal. More misinformation. That's wonderful. I love going on to an article. An article shared with 1.6 million people on Twitter. Thank you, Elon, for adding in the view counter on tweets. Um, we now know that that misinformation was shared to all those people because that is not the law. Yes, there are some Western countries that make Lollicon and Shotokan illegal, but that is a very small minority. In fact, there's only, I think, 13 countries in the entire world where this stuff is illegal. You can literally walk into Barnes & Noble and buy manga featuring Lollicon and Shotokan underage characters in sexual situations. You can buy it legally over the counter without even having an ID on you. And their reckless ideas don't stop there. It goes on to say, those who trade in and create sexualized imagery of children are very obviously pedophiles. And it doesn't matter if the imagery is hand-drawn, computer-generated, or a photograph. We class it all as CP, or what we now call CSAM, child sexual abuse material, or sometimes it's called child sexual exploitation material, but same thing. So they are quite literally calling all these fictional things CSAM. Bravo. Thank you for watering down these terms even more to the point where they mean absolutely nothing. This whole article is a buildup. They spent paragraph after paragraph setting up this terrible scene that Mastodon has children being victimized by hundreds of thousands of pedophiles. And guess what? It turns out the thing they're talking about this whole time is fictional characters. And they just find it weird. They find it disturbing, just like the Vice News documentary. And they're trying to portray it as something that it's not. And of course, showing absolutely no sources. Notice how there wasn't a single source in this entire article except the Vice documentary, which of course that contains zero proof for any of its claims. This article is absolutely disgusting. It is embarrassing. It's an obvious political hit piece due to what kind of political factions frequent Mastodon and they're trying to make that. I don't care about the political stuff. I care about the misinformation. Looking right now at this tweet, like I said, 1.6 million views on this. Sharing an article riddled with misinformation and racism. Because you can't make these claims about Japanese culture and Japanese people essentially equating it to some pedo haven 
that's spreading and dominating social media platforms with their smuts and not consider that racism. It's a trash article and I don't know what to do to make Disclose TV take this down. I don't know how they're not embarrassed. I don't know if the, the intern who posted this knew what they were doing, but this is wrong. And please do your best, share this video, go to the tweet, demand things to change because I'm getting tired of seeing this and I know many people are too. And it's a disservice to real victims of abuse and I'm not having it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time.